Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews and today we're looking at this thing, the 2015 edition Google Chromecast. It's a wireless HDMI dongle, which is not very much unlike what I've tested some time ago, the Microsoft wireless display adapter. However, this thing can do quite a few things extra. The display adapter by Microsoft really is just a Miracast adapter, so you can just stream to it. This thing can do the streaming itself. So I'm not going to do full unboxing, so basically what the box says is that it supports YouTube, Netflix, a V thing, which I don't know, HBO, your Chrome browser and Google Play has some extra apps for this thing. Uh, basically, it's also in Dutch here for me, so I'm guessing wherever you buy it, it will always be in your native language, which I guess is pretty cool. Um, so right here, it just says HD video streaming. You guys cannot read it because it's too um, out of focus because my lens is on a ridiculous aperture. So it uses some minions to market itself. So this is the only manual you'll get. There's a little QR code. And basically what it just says is plug in the HDMI on one side, plug in the USB on the other side, because you do need USB power, which is a total disgrace. It should really just get its power over HDMI, but nothing ever gets that. And then it just tells you to go to Chromecast-Setup, which will redirect you to the Play Store where you can download the app. Now inside this box, you get, of course, the Chromecast itself. Now this little device, as you can see, it's now circular. So unlike the, the previous one, uh, there's not much going on in terms of I.O. So you have your HDMI here. So this is detachable. There's a magnet here, but there's no magnet here. And basically, I think it would make a lot more sense to put the magnet on this thing so you can actually stick it to your display instead of putting a magnet on there. But I guess it looks good to hold it like this then. Um, basically, uh, so it kind of looks like a beach logo. I know everyone's been saying it. Some glossy plastic so you can see yourself while filming it and some power input through USB. There's a reset button right here and an LED right here. Nope, that's not where the LED is. The LED is in fact here. That's basically it for the Chromecast itself. Google is nice enough to also give you a USB power adapter, but it's not labeled in terms of amperage, so I wouldn't really use it with anything else, as well as a really long USB cable. It has a, a Velcro strap and a plastic strap, so you don't have to use the entire length of it. Uh, but I, I do really think it would be nice if they would just include a very short cable like what Microsoft did. Now setting up the Chromecast is ridiculously easy. You just take the USB power, put it into the Chromecast, unclip this thing, put the HDMI into the HDMI hole, and then put this thing into the power adapter. But because I don't really have a power adapter or a socket here, I'm just going to use a, an external battery pack. And just like that, your Chromecast is ready to go. And then once the Chromecast has power and you've set it up through the very simple steps of just entering your Wi-Fi password in the Chromecast app, you get nice pictures whenever you're not using it. Now, talking about the Chromecast app, there's not an awful lot to do in there. Basically, you can see what's, what apps you have installed from the Play Store. So your device will have some native apps that also work with casting, uh, but these are the ones you have from the Play Store. So we have Spotify, Google Play Music, and then Google Play Movies, Google Plus, Twitch, and YouTube. Uh, you can also just go search for more, and then there's a bunch there, but not really the type of apps that anyone would actually ever use. Um, so you can also see your devices, so which devices you have. And then once on here, you can see the same picture as, the, as is on the Chromecast right now. You can also like adjust which ones you want and all that sort of stuff. That's really nice. You can make it sync with your Facebook pictures even. Now another tab you can go to is the new apps thing. And here you get 90 days free premium, uh, premium Spotify. So basically that's worth 30 euros already. So I guess the Chromecast is now only 10 euros because it's really... A 40 euro device which I guess is pretty good. Um, you can also go to this thing right here and this is an experimental thing uh, where you can basically cast your screen from your phone right to your display that the Chromecast is hooked up to fairly uh, the same as with the wireless display adapter by Microsoft although I would say this one is not as reactive or the, the image quality isn't quite as good uh, but as I said, it is experimental, so it won't really work yet. Um, it's just nice that we have it as a beta feature. Now, when you actually want to do some streaming, for example, I want to go to Twitch and I want to stream my favorite Twitch game. Uh, basically, I can just scroll through there. Looks like Rito is actually live right now because it is the, I don't know what it's called. It's like the world's thingy, well, the aftermath. Uh, and then you just press stream to Chromecast. And just like that, it will now stream to your display 
right there. Also, that hair is absolutely ridiculous. Now, something that I think is really cool is that there is an extension for the Chrome browser called Google Cost. And well, it's like an extension, really. So if you just click it, you can go cast this tab to the Chrome Cost right there. So this is my computer display. This is the Chrome Cost display. Now, what you can also do, and this is even cooler, is again, experimental feature. You can cast your entire screen or well, you know, that, that one display, you can cast it entirely to the other PC by just clicking it. You can also optimize that for audio if you want to use another audio app like uh, Music Bee, for example. This, of course, also works with laptops. Uh, cool thing to know, by the way, is this PC is not connected to Wi-Fi directly. So the PC is actually connected with a wire to a wireless access point, and then the access point is streaming to the Chromecast. All right then, so the 2015 Google Chromecast it does everything that it promises on the box and on the internet and it has a few extra features which are still experimental but I mean it'll get there eventually and make it completely flawless eventually. I'm also sure that there will be more apps natively supporting this thing like Facebook for example or uh, Twitter like being able to just push uh, your images right from your Facebook app onto your television. It would be really cool if family comes over or something like that unless they're like embarrassing pictures. So guys, if you like this video, press that like button. If you didn't like this video, press the subscribe button because I'm sure one day I'll make something that you actually do like. Also, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well as support the channel to get me better lenses at the moment um, using my Patreon page. All of that stuff is in the description below. And for now, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.